Hi, our next station in Israel is the Stations of the Cross, and the first station is where Lord Jesus Christ was condemned to death. Bible says after his arrest, Lord Jesus Christ was led from Caiaphas to the Praetorium, and it was early in the morning. From John chapter 18, verse 29, Pilate then went out to them and said, What accusation do you bring against this man? They answered and said to him, If we were not an evildoer, we would not have delivered him up to you. Then Pilate said to them, You take him and judge him according to your law. Therefore the Jews said to him, It is not lawful for us to put anyone to death, that this saying of Jesus might be fulfilled which he spoke, signifying by what death he would die. Then Pilate entered the praetorium again, called Jesus and said to him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered him, Are you speaking for yourself about this, or did others tell you this concerning me? Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Your own nation and the chief priests have delivered you to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my servants would fight, so that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now my kingdom is not from here. Pilate therefore said to him, Are you a king then? Jesus answered, You say rightly that I am a king. For this cause I was born, and for this cause I have come into the world, that I should be a witness to the truth. Everyone who is of the truth hears my voice. Pilate said to him, What is truth? And when he had said this, he went out again to the Jews and said to them, I find no fault in him at all. But you have a custom that I should release someone to you at the Passover. Do you therefore want me to release to you the king of the Jews? Then they all cried again, saying, Not this man, but Barabbas. Now Barabbas was a robber. So then Pilate took Jesus and scorched him. And the soldiers twisted the crown of thorns and put it on his head, and they put on him a purple robe. Then they said, Hail, King of the Jews! And they struck him with their hands. Pilate then went out again and said to them, Behold, I am bringing him out to you, that you may know that I find no fault in him. Then Jesus came out, wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe, and Pilate said to them, Behold the man. Therefore, when the chief priests and officers saw him, they cried out, saying, Crucify him, crucify him. Pilate said to them, You take him and crucify him, for I find no fault in him. The Jews answered him, we have a law, and according to our law, he ought to die, because he made himself the Son of God. Therefore, when Pilate heard that saying, he was the more afraid, and went again into the praetorium, and said to Jesus, Where are you from? But Jesus gave him no answer. Then Pilate said to him, Are you not speaking to me? Do you not know that I have power to crucify you, and power to release you? Jesus answered, you could have no power at all against me, unless it had been given you from above. Therefore, the one who delivered me to you has the greater sin. From then on, Pilate sought to release him. But the Jews cried out, saying, If you let this man go, you are not Caesar's friend. Whoever makes himself a king speaks against Caesar. When Pilate therefore heard that saying, he brought Jesus out and sat down in the judgment seat in a place that is called the pavement, but in Hebrew, Gabata. Now it was the preparation day of the Passover, and about the sixth hour, and he said to the Jews, Behold your king! But they cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him! Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priest answered, we have no king but Caesar. Then he delivered them to them to be crucified. Then they took Jesus and led him away. The next station of the cross is where Lord Jesus Christ was made to bear his cross. Bible says in John chapter 19 verse 17, And he bearing his cross went out to a place called the place of a skull, which is called in Hebrew Golgotha. And the third station of the cross is where Lord Jesus Christ fell the first time. And the fourth, where Lord Jesus Christ met his mother. 
and the fifth, where Simon of Cyrene made the bed the cross. Luke chapter 23 verse 26 states, Now as they led him away, they laid hold of a certain man, Simon, a Cyrenian, who was coming from the country, and on him they laid the cross that he might bear it after Jesus. The sixth station of the cross is where Veronica wiped Lord Jesus Christ's face with her handkerchief. The seventh station of the cross is where Lord Jesus Christ fell the second time. And the eighth station of the cross is where the woman of Jerusalem wept over Lord Jesus Christ. Luke chapter 23 from verse 27. And a great multitude of the people followed him, and women who also mourned and lamented him. But Jesus turning to them said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For indeed the days are coming in which they will say, Blessed are the barren, wombs that never bore, and breasts which never nurse. Then they will begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. For if they do these things in the green wood, what will be done in the dry? Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen to that. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The ninth station of the cross is where Lord Jesus Christ fell the third time. And the tenth station of the cross is where he was stripped of his garments. And the eleventh of the station of the cross is where Lord Jesus Christ was nailed to the cross. Bible says in Luke chapter 32 from verse 32, There were also two other criminals led with them to be put to death, and when they had come to the place called Calvary, there they crucified him, and the criminals, one on the right hand and the other on the left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. And they divided his garments and cast lots. And the people stood looking on. But even the rulers with them sneered, saying, He saved others. Let him save himself, if he is the Christ, the chosen of God. The soldiers also mocked him, coming and offering him sour wine, and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. And an inscription also was written over him, in letters of Greek, Latin, and Hebrew. This is the king of the Jews. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen to that. Then one of the criminals who were hung blasphemed him, saying, If you are the Christ, save yourself and us. But the other answering rebuked him, saying, Do you not even fear God, seeing you are under the same condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said to Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said to him, Assuredly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen to that. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And that goes for all of us, for all his children. Thank you so much, my Lord Jesus. Amen. And the twelfth station of the cross is where Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross. Bible says in John chapter 19 from verse 28, After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, said, I thirst. Now a vessel full of sour wine was sitting there, and they filled a sponge with sour wine, put it on hyssop, and put it to his mouth. So when Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, It is finished, and bowing his head, he gave up his spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen to that. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving yourselves up for us, for each and every one of us, for dying for us on the cross. Thank you so much, my Lord. Amen. The thirteenth station of the cross is where Lord Jesus Christ was taken down from the cross. Bible says in John chapter 19 from verse 31, Therefore, because it was the preparation day that the bodies should not remain on the cross on the Sabbath, the Jews asked Pilate that their legs might be broken and that they might be taken away. 
Then the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and of the other who was crucified with him. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, he did not break his legs. But one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear, and immediately blood and water came out. And he who has seen has testified, and his testimony is true, and he knows that he is telling the truth, so that you may believe. For these things were done that the scripture should be fulfilled, not one of his bones shall be broken. And again another scripture says, they shall look on him whom they pierced. Amen. From verse 38, After this Joseph of Arimathea, being a disciple of Jesus, but secretly, for fear of the Jews, asked Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus, and Pilate gave him permission. So he came and took the body of Jesus. Amen. And the final station of the cross is where Lord Jesus Christ was placed in the sepulchre. Bible says in John chapter 19 from verse 39, and Nicodemus, who at first came to Jesus by night, also came, bringing a mixture of myrrh and aloes, about a hundred pounds. Then they took the body of Jesus and bound it in strips of linen with the spices, as the custom of the Jews is to bury. Now in the place where he was crucified there was a garden, and in the garden a new tomb, in which no one had yet been laid. So there they laid Jesus, because of the Jews' preparation day, for the tomb was nearby. Amen. And as you know, the tomb is empty. John 20 from verse 1. Now the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb early, where it was still dark, and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. Then she ran and came to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken away the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Peter therefore ran out and the other disciple and were going to the tomb. So they both ran together and the other disciple outran Peter and came to the tomb first. And he stooping down and looking in saw the linen clothes lying there, yet he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came following him and went into the tomb and he saw the linen clothes lying there and the handkerchief that had been around his head not lying with the linen clothes, but folded together in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who came to the tomb first, went in also, and he saw and believed, for as yet they did not know the scripture, that he must rise again from the dead. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen to that! Lord Jesus Christ, indeed, risen from the dead. And he is sitting at the right hand of the God the Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen to that. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for everything you have done, for everything you do, and for everything is to come. We bless your holy name now and forever, forever and ever. Amen. May God bless you all in Christ Jesus. Amen.